Hello kittens, welcome back to the Red Can Cult. I don't know how much longer I can go. I haven't seen any of the previous notes, so that means either I'm getting somewhere or someone is taking them. Okay, so this is weird because okay, in that one room that we were in uh, last episode, I was doing it and then for some reason it reset me all the way back to um so I'm pretty sure this is the out of order door that we are we're in now. So we, we reset all the way back down at floor number one. And I don't know why. Which is really interesting. Or maybe we, maybe we were in the 500s, I don't know. It was really weird. All I have to say is that I reset the game and then we were in that one room that we normally are in whenever we get to a milestone. I wonder if I can play on the arcade machine if I ever go back there. I'm sure that has something on it too. We're gonna see that one. Not released twice, I it through the express. What? Oh. Express tunnel. What the fuck? Well, let's see if there's anything new. Access specimen database. Next. Nothing new. Wait, hold on. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. What the? So is everything random? Except for like, the only- the one thing that doesn't seem to be random is like the boss fights or like when you're actually running away from something that's that like for example the puppet guy and I'm assuming that we're running away from the cat as well. But I don't Left, left, forward, left, left, forward, left. Okay. Interesting. So I know at one point we get like an axe or something. But I don't know when that is or what that even means or even why we get an axe. I mean, I'm sh I, I'm if I remember correctly, I don't know why I I remember this it, or at least I remember it like this, but I remember the reason why you had an axe was like there's this one point where you're in like this Wendy's restaurant <laughs> and like you had to break like vents to get out or something. I don't know. That's what I remember though. What? Left? Is it always going to be the same? Like the pattern or something? Is that doesn't seem right. Why, like, we're halfway through the game already. You 
you know? What the fuck? Oh, it's the deer guy. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god, the deers are attacking me! <laughs> That's real funny. It's <laughs> real funny. See what I mean? You see what I fucking mean? Okay, and one thing I think that's ironic though is that when we start talking about the axe, <laughs> we get the axe. <laughs> Not only that, but we also discover what it's for. say the least that's all I have to say. So like now what I'm starting to wonder is like what's the point of all this? So like I'm I'm guessing we are a test subject. And I don't know what the point of it is though. Because it talks about like these specimens being on the loose and everything, right? Then it talks about like total kill, so it's like we're not the only one that's been through here. So I don't know if there's some deep engraving lore to all of this. Because I know nothing about this game. Because I know there's, like, this is the second in the entire series, I believe. And I don't know if the third one is the last one. Spooky has been going off. Um, red can. Well, I'm not even on the leaderboards. Spooky cart. I heard something, man. I heard something. Save game. I think it's, this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found in my escape, but reality is that's, but really that's not true. This place was like my escape, my escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. Who the fuck is this guy?
Axe chop till you drop. I shall. Anywho, next time on the Red Can Cult, we'll be playing more of this funny game. Uh, we're pretty much... We're not pretty much almost done. We have 400 more rooms to go. But yeah, uh, after this, we'll go from here, okay? We'll be gaming or something.